works. Fine. Okay, so we have to do this all again. But they're seeing us live, right? Mm, one, two. We're back. Can you Yo. hear us now, guys? Hello. <laughs> Looks like the view meter is working, so. Okay. Anyways, let's okay. try this again. <laughs> so, Peter Witchers. Dirk and Dirk. <laughs> We're uh, live here from um, the studio currently in North Carolina, Asheville to be uh, more precise. Um, Sorry for the pause here. We're having some delays with our sound, but we're just going to uh, think that this works. Um, so behind you can see the kit that we've been tracking on. Um, we've currently done about nine songs, so it's been going pretty well. And nice sound here in the in this ex-church yeah. <laughs> converted into a studio. So, uh, well, let's move ahead and answer some of your questions. Uh, okay. Okay. Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So we got a question here from Michael. Uh, how much longer will you be in the studio? And is, is there a release date set for the album? Um, we've been um, we've been in the studio now for uh, this is about a week. We're going to be up here in Asheville to track drums, and everything's going very well. Uh, Dirk's playing fantastically, and we're getting some great help from from Jen Spogren, who's also is you know done a lot of records which we're big fans of like Opeth and Catatonia and Bloodbath and uh, <coughs> Paradise Lost. Paradise Lost. Uh, we're very excited about it. We're going to work on the drums until tomorrow night and uh, then uh, hopefully I'll make it back to my place before we start uh, in the other house. There's going to be a snowstorm here so we're uh, mm, yeah. excited. <laughs> <laughs> Potential release date, Dirk. Uh Right now, it looks like that's going to be around end of June, from what we know. Uh, still needs to be confirmed, but it's definitely going to be around that time period, I would say. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. That's uh, that. Next question. We're moving on with a, another question here from Daniel. Is your new album going to go back to your second formula, Predator's Portrait, Natural Chaos, or is it more in the line with the latest formula, Stab in the Drama, Sworn to a Great Divide? Uh, also, <laughs> why is Witcher such a badass? <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's something in the Swedish water. <laughs> and the Belgian water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, well, about the new album, I don't know, what do you say, man? <laughs> I mean, I... I think on this album we're focusing a lot on, uh, you know, just having fun with the material, I think, you know? And uh, probably the sickest drumming I've heard on uh, any soul work record up to date, so, you know. He's just being generous. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you just wait and see. Or hear. Um, I think it's, I mean, I think it's it's got a healthy dose of, of a lot of things, you know? I mean, it's... It's definitely got a little bit of the stabbing and, you know, also, you know, just worn. But I think that we definitely, you know, a lot of the stuff, it's, it's a lot more technical, you know. This album is definitely a lot more yes. technical than probably the most technical album we've, we've ever done. Yeah, yeah, possibly so, even though it's maybe not, you know, necessarily apparent. But I can tell you that there hasn't been one single song so far that, <laughs> that was easy to track on drums. <laughs> so... You know, for the other instruments, if it goes the same way, this is this will be our most technical album, yes, yeah. at least yeah. to play. <laughs> yeah. um, all right, we got another question. Do you want to? Alrighty, yeah. So from Rohan, um, how does your composition process work? Do things like music theory factor in? Um, well, I mean, uh, we have different ways of of working. You know, currently we're in, kind of located in different parts of the world, so. We use the internet a lot to send each other files and stuff, but when it comes to the actual songwriting, I think, you know, Peter will talk about his songwriting. I've tried to write stuff on drums, which, you know, some of it has still, like, needs to be worked on with the guys because it's kind of a new way to do things. But um, I would say that, you know, when it comes to Sylvain, for example, I know that he likes to just stay up late in the evening and then sit down with his guitar and just, you know, write whatever he feels, you know, and Peter, you tell about your kind of writing. Uh, I mean, it's kind of the same way for me. I, you know, I, I usually get like an idea in my head and um, I, I, I go around and I'll work it out in my head before I actually sit down and, 
and and finish it. Usually the whole song comes to me pretty quickly, and uh, I don't know. I don't really think that that music theory plays a huge factor in me. I just kind of play what I hear, you know. Like uh, I I don't know. For me, music is more of a, you know. I'm going to steal this quote from Jeff, but uh, it's kind of like, you know, I look at it as a painting, you know, and it needs different colors. And that's kind of how I look at it whenever I create certain parts in the song. So that's my approach to, to writing music. You know. Right. Yeah. I think that music theory, if we ever use it, it's probably more to help us with the technical side of the process, like programming click tracks and, you know, explaining things to each other but when it comes to the actual songwriting I don't think we ever think in theory we purely think about music we like and something we like yeah. to create you know, I, I think this record also I mean just to go back a little bit about the you know the, the way that this record is it's just I think for soul work it's always been very groove based you know like I think that we need to make sure that you know things will go over well live I mean that's always been a, a big factor I think this record, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm really proud of what Dirk has already accomplished on this one. I think it's, you guys will be pleasantly surprised when you hear this one, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, thanks, everybody, for your comments. We're seeing your, uh, your little notes here live. So, cool. Yeah, thanks we for, appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Uh, all right, let's move ahead with a question from Brent. Uh, what is your favorite album you've done so far? And do you find it easier or harder to make new stuff as slow work has progressed? That's, um, a, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. I'll let you answer the favorite album. Oh, <laughs> man, that's a tough one. I mean, every album kind of represents, uh, I guess, I mean, I'm, I can just speak from my own perspective. I think that it, it, it kind of, uh, every album represents a certain part of my life. So, you know, when I listen to them, I, it brings me back to where I was at that point. So it's hard to say that which one's my favorite. I'm very, very proud of, of Natural Born Chaos. That's that's an album I feel kind of things started to take off on that record, and that's kind of why I think Solver kind of created their own sound. Wait, do we have no more sound now? Okay, we're good. <laughs> Just checking. I'm getting paranoid now. <laughs> Alrighty. All right. So we got one question from John here. Uh, let me see. Dirk is one of my favorites. I would like to see Solberg draw on some more of his complex death metal and polyrhythmic abilities. <laughs> Will this be happening sometime? Can you guys please the fans of your older, more underground style versus the newer sound in the same C in the same CD? Why doesn't Bjorn jam on the guitar anymore? He's quite good. That's, uh, I think you won't be disappointed with uh, this new record and with the drumming on it. And when it comes to what else was it that he asked? Uh, the, the, let me see. Your older, more underground style versus the newer sound in the same city. Well, I think that this album is definitely, you know, going to accomplish part of that. I mean, of course, there's always people that, that you know, will be like, oh, it doesn't sound like Chain Art Machine, like, you know, so I don't like it, and that's fine. You know, if people like that record, then, then, you know, we have no problem with that at all. But for us, there's no point of going back and doing another Chain Art Machine because it's already there. So we don't think about that. We just go and, like we said earlier, write the music that comes to us, write the music we like, and, you know, sometimes that will go one direction, sometimes a little bit of the other. And, but I think this album is going to be very uh, diverse and interesting. So there's definitely some extreme crazy stuff on there. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, um, let's see. That one. Uh huh. Your favorite Finnish metal bands. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's there's quite a few. I mean, we've toured with Amorphis, a uh, great band, great guys. Um, uh, who else is there? We've I've toured with Impaled Nazarene. That wasn't with Solar, but they were also very cool people and, and a lot of fun to tour with. A uh, great band. Um, yeah. I don't know. I can't. I mean, I've, of... I've 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 toured with uh, Chilna Bone and I mean. Uh, nice guys and you know I, I have the highest respect for them as well you know it's they, get, they make some kick-ass riffs and the, the shredding and, and the playing is definitely there absolutely yeah <laughs> yeah there's many more i mean i can't think of any finnish bands right now but i know i listen to a lot like um yeah can't think of any names right now what else have we got uh, a question from giovanni when you perform live what do you think about and are you making music for a certain reason hmm. um well, when we perform live, what do we think about? <laughs> uh, I mean, I I personally I used to be really nervous when I went up on stage, but I, you know, and I, you have the to.
Just oh, oops, oops. I was still there. We were gone there for a little bit. Okay, so yeah, we make music because that's just what we do. Yeah, right? yeah, that's, I mean, because we because we're very fortunate to be able to do that, you know, and that's, we're appreciated. We're very appreciative of that. Absolutely. It's a privilege. Um, okay. Um.